When you believe lies about yourself, it's hard to see the truth of who God made you to be. Hey, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. Have you ever believed a lie about yourself? Like you've done something so bad, nobody could forgive you for it, not even God. Or maybe you're in a bad situation and you feel like there's no hope for you to get out of it. You can fight back against those lies with God's help and God's truth. Like we'll read about in today's poem, The Lord, My Deliverer by Eliana Canfield. I find myself surrounded by the lies that tangle through my mind. It started with just one falsehood of the enemy, one measure of deceit I did not quell with truth. Too long I did not let the light break through, and now I fear I will be stranded in this web of darkness entrapping me. In desperation I call to heaven a plea for rescue from my oppressors. In my darkest moment when I feel all hope is lost, the voice of the Almighty thunders from on high. His wrath is fierce against those who torment me, and with a single word my enemies are vanquished. I take shelter beneath his wings. All right, let's think about this for a second. Have you ever felt overwhelmed by lies? Maybe lies that say you could never be forgiven, that God isn't good, or that there is no hope. God promises to be our refuge and strength whenever we are afraid or in need of help. That's in Psalm 46 verse 1 and chapter 91 verse 4. Through Jesus' death and resurrection, he has already defeated every lie and dark scheme of the enemy. So if we've put our trust in Jesus, we are forgiven children of light and we can take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. That's 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5. And even if we let a lie fester or we realize we've been believing something that's not true, our loving God wants us to cry out to him for help. Though the enemy will continue to accuse us, try to deceive us and tempt us to sin, Jesus is infinitely more powerful. He will help us discern the truth and resist sin through his spirit, his word, the Bible, and his people, the church. Consider taking some time to ask God to reveal any lies you've been believing and replace them with his truth and love. In addition to talking to God, who are trusted Christians in your life who you can talk openly with and who can help you untangle lies from the truth? And there's a lot of scripture you can read about this on today's Devo. You can find it in the Unlocked app or when you go to unlocked.org. Now, as you and I can read in Psalm 18, verse 2, The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. And I'd encourage you to dig a little bit deeper and read Psalm 18 verses 1 through 19 and Ephesians 5 verses 8 through 20 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource from Keys for Kids Ministries. And do you have uh, younger siblings who might like something like Unlocked but made just for them? Well, if you do, check out the Keys for Kids devotional at keysforkids.org. And come back for tomorrow's devotion with Natalie. At least one way that God wants you to be like a baby. But until then, I'm Dylan, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.